What if Derizendrak was in Cold War Zombies? Now, I've made these videos previously on Black Ops 2 maps. There is actually a Cold War Zombies mod, which I will leave a link to in the description, on Black Ops 3 Zombies. So as you can see over here, we've got, I presume this is the X fill. Oh no, this is the ammo section. Oh yeah, you can see the tiny little ammo icon there. Spawn again with a sideways 1911, you know, I suppose I'll take it. Some kind of a wall by over here, which this looks like, oh, the DMR 14. Okay, nice. The DMAT over here as well. So yeah, this is going to be a very different experience to the Black Ops 2 Cold War mod. But oh my God, look at this quick revive machine. It's so, look at the shine, dude. That's so clean. Oh, and we got double plus 100, apparently. Okay, go ahead and buy Quick Revive, because you know, you know what I'm like. I go down stupidly all the time. I'm not going to take any risks here. Now, I'm assuming, uh, no, we actually get points for if we shoot the zombies. I was thinking it was going to have the Cold War point system. I like that, because it would be a little bit annoying otherwise. Max ammo. Whoa, is that some kind of like a custom voice for that? that was, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Now, we don't have a gun. I'm actually going to go ahead and open this door because normally you spawn in with an RK5, but I'm actually playing on the Black Ops 3 client. Oh, we got the Gallo on the wall. Hell yeah, I'll take it. But yeah, I'm using the Black Ops 3 client that's going to be releasing in the next like few months. You can actually pay for early access right now. A link will also be in the description if you'd like to check that out. It's essentially like plutonium for Black Ops 3. Everything runs so smoothly. Like, look at this. No frame drops at all. Look how gorgeous this map looks i love horizon but oh my god i realized we wanted to uh oh what's this we got an ammo box nice another one we're supposed to be filling up those goddamn dragons but you know i completely forgot i wonder how the gallo is going to be against the uh the panzer now i don't think oh no we do have a shield so oh, interesting because yeah in black ops 2 this version of the mod they completely get rid of it oh and there's an electric cherry machine over here that's nice okay so there are a few features that you know are, oh my god jesus hello <laughs> There are a few features that are like Black Ops 3 that are still in Black Ops 3, I guess. But there's like Cold War perks, obviously Cold War guns. Oh my god, we got the Cold War death machine. Look at this! Oh, so this is the Cold War death machine. It's loud as fuck though, Jesus Christ. I was wondering which death machine that was from my video playing Overlook Remastered, this exclusive Nintendo DS map that got remade into Black Ops 3. Very, very cool map, by the way. Be sure to check that one out. Now we've got a mystery box right here, but I kind of want to keep a hold of our stuff. It looks like the dragon is done. No? One more. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's just go ahead and end the round, man. Why not? Another ammo box over here. It's cool that it actually shows you where it is, kind of like Cold War as well. That's one thing the Black Ops 2 version didn't have. It wasn't showcasing exactly. Oh, we've got a Milano on the wall. It wasn't showing you where things were. You kind of just had to figure it out for yourself. Uh, we've got a bullfrog. I do love the bullfrog, you know. And we need 300 points. Then we can go and get this power switch turned on as soon as possible. All right, here we go. What we got on the wall here? An FFAR, not bad. Another ammo box. I'm not seeing the... Oh, here we go. Cold War stamina up. I'll take the 200 points instead of 100. I was going to say I'm not seeing the exfil location place, but... I'm sure it'll be around here somewhere. God, look at the stamina up machine. I just wanted to say it looked pretty, man. Holy shit. Don't sneak up on me like that. So shiny. Like, just look at that. Oh, oh elemental pop over here. It's even animated, dude. What the fuck? That's so cool. I love that so much. That's awesome. What the fuck? Ah, Cold War Speed Cola. Gimme, gimme. Uh, we should have a shield part around here. Yep, there we go. Second of three. Looks like it's still a three hit down as well, which is kind of nice because, you know, Cold War, it really does make it a bit easy. The fact that you can, just, you can take like five, six hits on early rounds. I mean, I understand, yes, it's it's early rounds, right? You know, chances of you going down are pretty slim anyway, but all right, let's stand on a few of these pads. Oh, we got dogs oh it's got the oh it's the cold war announcer Ooh. now we've only got a couple left oh missing all my shots good job me where is the shield it's over here boom got it uh, i wonder if the max ammo yeah it does it reloads that weapon hallelujah thank you for that what round do we get panzer on again isn't it like round 12 i forget what round it is on black ops 3 because it's not round 8 whoa we've got some kind of cool perk machine down here what's this let's build up one of these souls uh tacti Healer or something? Um, fire while sprinting again, it tends to regain, I think it was like ammo or something. Okay, neat. Actually, I'm assuming it will show us where the exfil is in like a couple of rounds, like on round 10, since it's been showing us where things are at the moment anyway. Oh god, almost went down. That would not have been good. All right, dragon done. Let's go upstairs and do the next one. It should be the last one as well. Oh Jesus Christ, where did you come from? Stop with the jump scares, dude, man. Oh my god. 
Holy fuck, dude. I didn't know COD Zombies was a horror game. I'm not gonna lie, filling the dogs or filling the dragons up, I mean, it's the same in Mob of the Dead, but it's so slow to do, bro. Having to wait for him to finish eating before you kill another one. There we go, he's finally done. Now, I'm curious if PhD is gonna be on the map. Because if it is, I kind of want to keep my starting pistol, you know? But in order to find out, I'm going to have to uh, open up some doors or something. Looks like we've got one zombie left anyway, so let's check some rooms. We have got a perk here. What's this? ICU. Faster health regen, speed boost on low health, and invincible while performing actions. Okay. <gasps> is this the X? No, it's the ammo. <laughs> Every time, dude, I'm like, oh, it's the X-Fill. No, it's not. It's not the bloody X-Fill. I mean, logically, it would be somewhere around here, right? You know, since we have a bunch of, like, radios and things down there. Oh, Widow's Wine is right next to here. That's neat. Let's go down here. Maybe it's going to be in this room. We've got another ammo box, of course. Um, ammo. Are we gobblegum? It's, yeah, you can kind of see it says dispense gobblegum. It's, like, on top of it. That's funny. We've got a mule kick machine right here. Obviously, you know, the standard mule kick, but it still gives us 200. All right, I'll take it. Uh, oh, what's this perk machine? Uh, Vigor Rush. Explosive bullets dealing extra damage. Neat. Oh, hi, zombie. Some kind of perk in this room, perhaps? No. Gotta be a wonder fizz around somewhere, to be honest. We have got our jug, though. Give me this bad boy. Feeling a lot safer now. So, what was this again? Regain fire ammunition and multi-kills grant bonus points. That's a actually so useful. Only 2,000 as well. I'll take that. Give me. Oh, whoa, that is one psychedelic green bottle though. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not seeing PhD and you know, we've, we've used the um, Mustang and Sally in quite a few videos anyway. Uh, so, you know, we'll swap it out. We'll grab our bow because we can start doing our wolf bow stuff. What, we have to shoot this? No, am I stupid? How do I do the wolf bow again? Do I have to charge shot? Oh god, my brain. I'm <laughs> the memories, dude, the memories. It's the lightning bow thing that we could shoot. I mean, if we want to do the lightning bow, but it's like, it's the boring option, man, you know? Wolf bow was always my favorite anyway. Oh, I remember. There's like a flag. You have to go to the teleporty place, right? Yes, I remember now. Well, before we do that, let's actually get enough points for stamina up so we can run around faster. I'm hoping there's no perk limit because that would suck. Oh, let's not go that way. Double points, that, you know, helps immensely. Well, here we go, stamina up acquired. How fast are we going to run with Cold War stamina up is the question. Oh my god, you can really feel that difference. Okay. Wait, we don't have unlimited sprint? Really? Interesting. It must be another perk that gives us unlimited sprint then, I guess. Well, let's go and teleport because, uh, yeah, I just, I completely forgot about the goddamn, like, you have to shoot a flag or something. Oh, there's a perk. That's not PhD, is it? It's like, oh yeah, all the way up there. You have to shoot the bottom of there or something. A but a Apparently I'm stupid and can't hit it. What is this perk? Uh, fighters fist. Keep your gun when you go down and get a kill to revive and keep all perks. Oh, so it's like, it's Cold War systems, but it's in multiple perks, it seems. Interesting. Now, I don't know if I'm stupid, but where the fuck is this skull? I swear it should be dropping here. I mean, this is the right place, isn't it? Oh, I hate my life. I completely forgot about the fucking flags. You know, when I started the game, I was like, oh yeah, those flags. I'll remember that for when I have to do the wolf blow. And then I just completely forgot. <laughs> Bro, I am so dumb. It's hilarious. So look, we got one of them is in here, right? Yeah, this is three or four or something. One of them's in here. That's not one, is it? No, I think that's the last one or something. Got one of them over here. This is the first one. Oh my god, dude. How was I that stupid? Oh good, pack a punch is here. Nice. Oh, this one is number two. This one's number three. And then we have the fourth one over here. Wow, crazy, dude. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, insane. I have a brain, I swear. Did all that money teleporting as well. But, oh, at least we can get it now. We can start the goddamn wolf bow step. Right, now I go teleport and not be an idiot and I have to go shoot this stupid thing. Oh my god, dude. It was it was this easy all along. Now I shoot the flag. Oh my god, step done. Wow, crazy, dude. I have a brain, I swear. Oh, give me this. Oh my god, hello. Okay, I, th I think I picked it up, yeah. Now we place the head on top of here. Boom, 50% done. The cool-ass wolf. Dude, I love the wolf. He's so cool. And we just follow him around three times, and then we get souls, and then we have the wolf bow. Wow, crazy, dude. It's as simple as that. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Dig, dig, dig. Now, we just clump them all together, and I think if we just shoot once, we could probably get them all done. Like a boom. Yeah, that's probably enough. Yeah, interact, and it should... Ooh, hello. Yeah, there you go. Go dig. It's honestly such a sad story of, like, how the wolf bow thing is, because what you're doing is you're going and digging up the remains of the king who this wolf was like, you know, the protector to. But you know, it's, it's kind of sad, man. At least spirits are a thing in COD Zombies. So, you know, it, it's kind of nice because, hey, at least they're still alive. 
in a sense. God, look at this trail. Just, oh, the high quality trail. Holy shit. Right, now we need more souls. Probably going to end up going on to the next round. I wonder, can we buy ammo for the bow? Oh, we can. It's 1,500. Oh, that's so sick. Well, we have exactly 1,500. I mean, if we get dogs this round, there's no point in buying it. But, you know, nice. Doesn't look like we are. I'm going to just buy it. Yeah. Oh, we don't have enough money? What? Oh, it's 2,500 now. Oh, it literally just increased. Cool. Thanks, game. Thanks for screwing me like that. That's that's fine. Just the gallow has to take so long to fucking reload. There we go. It's done. Now we just have to interact with the thing again. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Boom, go. Move out the way. I almost got stuck. That would have been terrible. Oh, I think there's only one more. Here it is. Last one. Also, I built that shield because I completely forgot. Right, we've only got one shot left, but that should be all the souls, I think. Yep, there we go. Annoying thing is we have to wait for Anti-Grav to come back. It literally just disappeared. Boom. Because, yeah, he's going to go over to here and we have to, like, jump shot in there. Which, we've only got one shot. We have to somehow do it. Oh, look at this. Look at the dog just sitting there waiting. That's so fucking cute. It's adorable. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to buy ammo just because <laughs> I'm not going to take the risk and kind of need to be able to survive anyway since we don't have... Oh, here we go. Now, we have to shoot inside here. Oh, no, we have to shoot on top of the thing, don't we? I remember. You have to actually shoot the symbol. You don't shoot inside there. That's the common misconception that so many people have. Let's get this nuke so it makes it easier. Boom. Here we go. Uh, oh, never mind. Hello, can you? F oh, there we go. We got the platform. If it will just let me fucking wall run. Nope, it's not going to let me. For some reason, it doesn't let you wall run unless you're sprinting, which I don't understand at all because it's always been a thing. Oh, now we've got the fucking Panzer Soldat spawning in. Where's he at, dude? Oh, hello. Hi. What's up, bro? Just a little Panzer Soldat spawning. Cool, dude. Fuck off, bro. Get fucking bowed to the face. Ow. Wow. We don't burn me. He should be fairly weak. Yeah, his helmet's off now. Fuck off, dude. There we go. Not exactly that much of a threat. Oh, yeah. The Ragnarok part. I forgot all about that. Here we go. Right, can we fucking do this step now? Boom. Oh my god, and it fucking, it disappeared. Of course it did. Come on, give me... No, it disappeared the second I got on top of it. You're such a fucking bitch. Archer couldn't have pulled that shot off. Give me the fucking thing. Give me the arrow. Give me the, give me the fucking arrow. Give me it. God, just... Jesus Christ, dude. That step did not need to be so fucking stressful. I know it's finicky, but my god. All this just for the wolf bow. All this just for the goddamn wolf bow. That's all I wanted. All right, here we go. I think it's done. Hey, give me the wolf. Give me it, dude. Oh, fucking hell. Almost going down because it's not giving it me in time. And kaboom. Just look how sick that is. Oh my god. Well worth the, uh, the minor frustration. <laughs> Now, is there a perk limit? There's not. Good. We get speed cola. Um, we might as well. Let's pack a punch. Our gun. Do we get a tier three pack a punch? No, you don't even get the three pack a punches, bro. That's kind of ass. Not going to lie. I was hoping the Cold War mob would be much cooler. I don't even see an X fill anywhere. This is definitely inferior to the Black Ops 2 version. That's for sure. But you know, I just wanted to give this a try. Uh, this is a cool camo. It reminds me of the Infinite Warfare camo, actually. Oh, you can inspect as well if you hold. What is it? Reload? Yeah, look. Hold reload. Boom. Oh, that's neat. Can you inspect the bow? No, you can't. I thought not. I guess we'll repack a punch it. And we got turned. Does turned actually give us points? Uh, it doesn't. Okay, another L for the mod. I'll definitely see if I can get a better version of this mod. Like, this just seems to be the only Cold War Zombies mod available at the moment. It's still nice, you know, you get like the Cold War perk systems. You get the, the guns, I guess. The ammo boxes are pretty useful. If anyone knows a better version of the Cold War mod for Black Ops 3, then please let me know. Like... Link it in the comment section or something. Or just let me know what it's called so I can go find it. Wait, what the fuck? My camo disappeared from my gun after I repacker punched it. What? Well, that's just fucking ass. Okay, dude. That was the only good thing about packer punching was it gave me that sick camo from Infinite Warfare. Bruh, I mean, let's try repacker punching it again. Hopefully it'll come back. That's kind of shit. No, it's gone, dude. It's gone. Give me it. Well, I kind of want to get rid of this gun now. Like, you just, you just ruined it for me. Well, let's see. The one saving grace of this mod. Can we have more than five perks? Pretty please? Okay, good. We can get double tap. Uh, there's that then, I suppose. I was a little worried for a minute. And we're definitely running fast. Oh, these guys are running fast too. Okay, so they definitely kept the um super fast zombies to compensate for the sprint the stamina or whatever it's called fucking words i can't say jesus this full auto oh 
<laughs> okay, that's kind of that's kind of neat. OP shotgun, that's for sure. Might hit the box though. Uh, let's also get electric cherry. What do we get? The XM4. Oh, and you can actually let teammates pick it up. I mean, that's kind of neat. I used the XM4 in that Nintendo map though for like a little bit. So let's see if we can get something else. Maybe the org. I mean, okay, I'll take it. Doesn't even. Oh, you can't even pick up the guns. Oh. How did someone manage to make a better Cold War mod for Black Ops 2 instead of Black Ops 3? That's just that's insane to me. Oh, and here's the Panzer. I wanted to kind of like use the, uh, what's it called? Against the Panzer Soldat, the, the Hangman. But, you know, we've obviously got rid of it. Oh, fuck off, Panzer, you bitch. Got rid of his helmet. Yeah, you're mad, dude. I know you're mad. Get the fuck out. Unpack a punched org just completely shit on you. I won't lie though, this org does actually look kind of sick. Well, since Xfil isn't a thing apparently on this mod, I just checked the workshop page and it looks like they haven't really updated this mod in a long time. But you know, it was just kind of a lot of refinement to the gameplay system is what this mod essentially did. And you know, it's, it's still kind of cool. There are Cold War elements. I did like, you know, they've got updates to all the zombie sounds and things like that apparently, according to the, the page, you know, on screen, I'll probably put it just so you can read for yourself what they've actually changed and added and stuff but definitely there isn't like a mod that's like the black ops 2 version you know it's so much more impressive like there's no salvage system there's no like you know weapon rarities or upgrades or anything but yeah i mean there's not really much else to do because we can't exactly play for an x fill um there's not too much to want to play for like it really sucks the fun out of it when you just don't have anything that you'd expect from a mod called Cold War Zombies mod. I was hoping to, you know, continue the series and be like, oh, playing Derizon Jirok with Cold War systems, but I'd feel really scummy if I put that as the title, so I'll probably just put, like, this mod is disappointing or something. Nonetheless, I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to check out an actual good Cold War Zombies mod, then feel free to check out me playing Origins, but with the Cold War system, on Black Ops 2 Plutonium. That mod is actually insane, and the person who made that just went out of their way to make a really, really fun experience. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video.